You're going to be working around fuel on this project, so we want to take some basic precautions. Work in a well-ventilated area without a source of open flame or heat nearby, including incandescent shop lights. As always, you should be wearing your safety glasses and gloves to protect your skin. The most important thing is to have the proper rated and type fire extinguisher handy and know how to use it. Begin by opening the fuel filler door and removing the gas cap. This will help relieve pressure in the system. The fuel pump is located under the right rear seat, red arrow. You will need to remove the lower seat section to access it. Please see the link at the end of this video for our article and video on seat removal and further instructions. With the lower rear seat and under pad removed, you will have access to the cover. Remove the four 8mm bolts holding the cover in place, as indicated by the red arrows. Lift the cover up and off, separating the gasket around the wiring harness. Clean the dust and debris off the top of the pump and unplug the one connection, red arrow. Separate the other electrical connection. Remove the plug from where it mounts on the top of the pump, yellow arrow. You will need to remove the locking ring that holds the pump in place in the gas tank. While Mercedes makes an expensive tool for doing this, if you are careful, you can use a large flathead screwdriver and a small hammer and gently tap the ring back off the tabs. Use the holes in the outer retaining ring and tap evenly around the entire outside of the ring, red arrows. Don't just start hammering away in one spot. Instead, continuously move around the ring. There should be a witness mark on the ring, yellow arrow, that will let you know when it is fully locked. The one in the photograph is unlocked. Remove the retaining ring and note the position of the pump in the tank. The large tab on the front of the pump lid must face towards the front of the vehicle, red arrow. Pull the lid of the pump up and off. There is a sealing ring between it and the tank, so it might stick a little. There are two prongs with springs on them, red arrows. These sit inside the pump housing and hold it in place. Disconnect the two electrical connections as indicated by the yellow arrows. Unclip the open-ended hose from the pump housing, red arrow. Press in the tab on the other hose fitting and lift it off the pump, red arrow. You can now lift the pump out from the tank. Use care that you do not bend or damage the right side level detector as shown by the red arrow. The pump housing will be full of fuel, so make sure you carefully pour it back into the tank before taking the pump out of the vehicle. Installation is the reverse of removal. Make sure that the lid is positioned and sealed correctly. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.